Howdy folks, Justin here. Today we are hopping into Starfield. Just kidding. Today we're playing <laughs> Relentless Raider, Wisp Mother combo, Raid Mother, whatever you want to call this. The OG of Legends combo decks. I figured it was time we got some more of this into the Legends community's eyes. Alright, so... Playing against Battle Mage. We have the Battle Mage Mirror. Probably not the same kind of Battle Mage we're playing. Probably Giant's Battle Mage or Prophecy Battle Mage. We have the Ring. I'm not keeping the Red Ear. I will keep Palace Conspirator. Northwind Outpost is clunky. It is there to make raid uh, raiding party tokens better for break for the purposes of breaking runes. Our opponent is Traxta 400, the pickpocket. Let's see if we can get this done once or twice today. There's no way that they're agonizing over a one-drop decision here. This is them searching to see if I'm live on Twitch. Pass the turn. Got some guards. We are just... So, so this deck is just stall, draw, we'll and relentless raiders. Uh, Wardcrafter seems pretty good here. You know, we want to get some card advantage going. Um, just basically stall till we can draw our combo, which is... We break a rune with five or more Relentless Raiders on the board. <laughs> Fiery Imp. Okay. Uh, best use of our Magicka is Cam Lawrence Sentinel. If that swings, we break a rune, we gain a card. And we've got that lane pretty well locked up. We got two more guards now for this lane here. Wow. Okay. There's one of our relentless raiders. We want to get our opponent to four or sorry, to one damage away from a rune break. So that uh, it is as easy as possible to break that last rune. Lightning Bolt. Okay. I'm going to play Northwind Outpost and Protector the Innocent and pass the turn. There's the Raiding Party. We still need a lot of stuff. We have Close Calls, which kind of work to generate extra... Well, we have one Close Call, which kind of works with the Wisp Mother to generate extra Relentless Raiders. We've got Draw... What do we not want to see here? I mean, in a pinch, I can use the raiding party to kill this. If, like, Stormcloak Camp. Wow. At the end of your turn, if a creature died this turn, deal two damage to your opponent. That is a, that's a card I enjoy, I have to admit. This should be good. Greystone Ravager. Okay, so I'm going to take two damage. Lanith. And Perfect Cradle Crush Giant. This does not trigger for creatures that die on my turn. So I'm pretty okay with what's happening here. Went to McAllister's Deli, by the way, for dinner. Sandra and I are shopping for a house, so we went and toured some townhouses and uh, a couple other a couple houses. And um, I don't know if you guys, you guys know anything about the Colorado housing market. It is a nightmare. It is insanely expensive. We must protect the night mother. Garnag is something we're going to have to kill. Circle Initiate. Fiery Imp. <clears throat> okay. Uh, there's Ice Storm. I shall be your eyes and ears. Minimize the amount of damage we take. 
Um, since it, I mean, the protectors, the circles, the ravagers, the lightning bolts, it's prophecy battle mage of one type or another. It's got a little spice with Stormcloak battle camp, but I mean, even though we have 18 damage on board, like, uh, going face just seems sort of reckless. Plus, we're trying to do something cool here. I will ice storm away aboard. <laughs> happily. Happily. What do we got, buddy? Care to join me on the hunt? Another one of those four toughness creatures. Oh, opponent. Why? Why, why, why? Okay, we got guards in both lanes. I can play Relentless Raider and Raiding Party. Should we just go for it and try to kill him? Got a harpy or something? More cool gatekeeper? Alright. Uh. Oh, this feels so bad. Feels so bad. Four toughness creatures in Battle Mage, Prophecy Battle Mage. What are you doing, buddy? Now I'm just going to start getting char hit with charge creatures. What's our ideal matchup? Old control mage? That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. So I can play Lanath next turn. Uh, Greystone Ravager. Lurking Crocodile. <laughs> Not playing that last one. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna Ice Storm. And I'm gonna play Raiding Party. <laughs> You can't kill my creatures for Stormcloak Camp if you don't have any creatures left. Alright. Uh, there's another Ice Storm. What do we want with Lanneth? There's always a way. I mean, we gotta. We, we should play it. Telvoss Magister is probably the best play in our deck. Alright. We'll, we'll take it slow. We'll take it slow. Opponents at 26. We got our Nord Firebrands in hand. They're playing Prophecy Battle Maid. We're playing a deck that wants to break five runes in one turn. I have faith. I got faith. That this that there are no silence effects in his hand. <laughs> That's where my faith lies. Alright. Uh there's Wispa. Perhaps we can help one another. Gonna lightning bolt that. Get ourselves a little bit of that sweet face ward action. We are really forcing, really forcing this combo. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. I feel like that should gain us some time. Playing Elusive Schemer. Uh. Pass the turn. We got Ice Storm. We got Ice Storm at the ready, yo. Play some more critters. Alright. Okay. Two Relentless Raiders. We now need a close call or a final Relentless Raider. I got time. Uh huh. I would love to draw another card. I'm gonna Nord Firebrand this thing. I'm gonna play an Elusive Schemer. And I'm gonna Nord Firebrand this. Uh, eight cards in hand. Got past the turn. Can't stop me! 
I'm going to combo you. This is, this is for the man who wants to play Battle Mage and take forever. Better be something I can ice to. <laughs> Daggerfall Mage. Okay. Five and eight, they will meet their makers. I could Ice Storm. That's my only removal. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not gonna Ice Storm quite yet. I, I, I feel like that's a, that's a poor move on my part. Two Lightning Bolts are gone for my opponent. Got Camorn Heroes left. Uh oh. <laughs> Are we dead? Assassin's bow. That's not good. I don't want to overdraw. All right. We're dead to lightning bolt. <laughs> wow. Dead to a lot of things. Alright, we gotta try to do this. We can only put four Nord Firebrands on the board. I'm sorry, four Relentless Raiders. Alright, we hit a prophecy. It's Lightning Bolt. Oh, Prophecy Battle Mage. Mystic Dragon. Alright. Alright. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yes. 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 Lightning Bolt. Is that why it's been an engaging hunt? Oh, it's a lurking crocodile. I'm so sorry. Now it's going to be a Lightning Bolt for that maximum punishment. Oh, snap. <laughs> well, that went pretty well. Pretty well. We played it pretty well. We'll be back for another one. All right, I'm back for a third one. I had to go deal with the realtor. But yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Like, for what we got pre approved for for our loan, we could buy the house that I grew up in like several times. Uh, it's not a, not great what it costs to live here. Our opponent is the Fluid Druid. <laughs> Playing Halalu. So can we survive long enough to combo off? A Halalu deck is not likely to have a lot of prophecies that interfere with our plan. I'm going to keep Palace Conspirator. I'm sorry. I'm, I said I meant, I meant to say I'm going to keep Wistmother. I think in order to win this, we need to just curve out perfectly. <laughs> we need to draw combo piece, combo piece, combo piece, combo piece, combo piece. All right, we can go guard creature into guard creature. Yeah, what's up, dude? I see that you are rank one playing Halalu. What do we got? Fifth Legion Trainer. All right, protect the innocent and don't have a charge creature. And we are in business. I have tremendous faith. Sander, do you have faith? In my ability not to have this creature die to a charge creature. I got a little. You got a little? I got a little. All right. Let's see if it works out. Okay. Our, my opponent's name, by the way, is Defluid Druid. Of course, I'm okay. on your side. Yeah. Uh, Mornhold Trader. Wow, nothing. Oof, Individualant Ancestor. All right, deck full of guard creatures working out. So this turn, they might be able to combine a one drop with a Lalu Sharpshooter. But even a, I mean, even that's not great for them. Come on, man. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna play Elusive Schemer. Do Laneth. So we're not drawing the combo pieces we need. And, like, our inability to trade into that is, like, not awesome. Tell me who to stab. And there's Halalu Oathman. <laughs> Okay, face. Cliff Racer. Lightning Bolt Prophecy. Whew. <laughs> Gold shot. Alright, we got a guard creature over there now. 
another lightning bolt's good. I'm gonna play Palace Conspirator. Uh, I kind of want to tell Boss Magister, right? I'm gonna discard the Northwind Outpost. I'm gonna play the Camorn Sentinel. I'm gonna begin poking my opponent. So we've only managed to draw one combo piece um, with our Telvas Magister. I'm sorry, with our Wisp Mother. Which means we got a lot of surviving to do still. <laughs> less confident. <laughs> Sandra says she's less confident. All right, we got North Firebrand, a Saran Pawnbroker. Need an Ice Storm at this point. Care to make a friendly Corner Club Gambler. Oh God, give me an Ice Storm. Just, just. Just one ice storm. I'll, I mean, I'll lightning bolt this, but all right, shrieking harpy. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll stop damage. I'll put my opponent to 26. We have an equal number of cards in hand. I'm gonna play a Telvas Magister, which should do some work. My opponent is gonna live in the shadow lane from now on. We have not seen a haunted manor yet. And they're running Cliff Racer, so they are not the version of this deck. There's another Cliff Racer. They are not the version of this deck that runs Conscription. Rapid Shot is an awesome draw. I down to one card in hand. Alright, Rapid Shot. Daggerfall Mage. Telvas Magister, getting it done. It's going to save us four damage. We're going to go to 15. Then I can start swinging into dudes, rewarding it. Shadow shift on that one. I guess that makes sense. You want to break the rune with that. Pit line. Okay. We go to 15. Dawnbreaker. Ooh, that's that is painful. That is really, really painful. We have a guard creature. I need a rapid shot at that in case I hit a lightning bolt. Raiding party. I could play... Well, now it's too late to play West Mother. Sorry it had to come to this. And if I had rapid shot at that, I could have... Oh, sad day. All right, our face ward is back online. My opponent is going to need something spectacular from hand to deal with this. Right now we're just playing like, again, just like crappy mid-range battle mage. But mid-range battle mage is a strong deck. And so by making it worse, or as some people say, much cooler. Oh, charge creature, you've got to be kidding me. Well, there goes our Telvas Magister. Presumably. Okay. Well, we're still not in bad shape. Um, Your blood will spill. I'm gonna Lanneth. There's always a way. For a relentless raider. Just gonna assume that Ice Storm will kill the first thing they play. Or I could get another Telvas Magister. Nah, well, I wanna end up filling my board up before I can play enough Raiders. No, oh, well, this is why we're here. <laughs> we got our young Wisp Mother. We got a Face Ward up. We got a guard. We're going to equip our guard with a Tome. Cradle Crush Giant. We're going to put those in our hand. We're going to pass the turn. We might just go face next turn. It's not, like, unreasonable. We could have two Relentless Raiders on board. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Alright. Looks pretty good. Relentless Raider with Smother. Oh, Halalu decks don't run prophecies, baby! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Poor bastard! 
Oh, I'm one damage off. I'm one damage off. I'm just kidding. I got one right here. You're being greedy. Hell yeah, I'm being greedy. I got two. <laughs> 26 to zero. Woo. All right, we are back for a second game with Wisp Mother Relentless Raider combo or the crappiest mid-range battle mage you can find. Our opponent is Flossic. Flossic is rocking House Tilvani. House Tilvani is capable of gaining life, which is a problem for our combo. They have the ring. I'm going to keep a Wisp Mother. I'm going to keep a Wisp Mother. Man, playing raiding parties like the most suspicious thing that you can do, right? Like, your opponent just knows something's up and starts, like, putting guards in lanes and gaining life and stuff. Not a fan. Not a fan of uh, that card's reaction to people. But it's a pretty good way to break a rune when you have a wisp mother out. That was pretty sweet, though, last game, right? 26-0. Yeah. That was Lanneth Lethal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a loose schemer, which is pretty good. All right, Flossic. He used to be like control decks were these things that, oh, I have the ring. That's cool. My opponent doesn't have the ring. I'm not going to like ring out two drops on one because that wouldn't make any sense given my strategy, but now everybody just wants to tempo out. <laughs> Telvas Magister is part of the reason that's a thing. By the way, Telvas Magister part of the reason that I'm running a version of this deck with Raiding Party because it can break the rune twice. So you want to get him to 26 before you start trying to go off. Get the board wiped or whatever. And then you can go off on a naked board with Wisp Mother, Relentless Raiders, and Nord Firebrands. Yeah, Flossic's uh, putting a lot of thought into this. Can't remember how to spell my last name. Is it E-N? Is it O-N? As he searches for me in the Twitch directory. <laughs> but that's alright. That is alright. I understand. Opponent Master of Mirrors, by the way. That title requires you to have three copies of the same unique legendary and play at the same time. I did that with Wisp Mother and Ungulum in a casual game uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, it was good times. All right, Palace Conspirator. I don't think I want Harpy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep a Wisp Mother. Having a second Wisp Mother means that like, you can play the Wisp Mother and like, not feel bad about it. If our opponent's not doing anything, I'm, I'm going to try to goldfish this out. Like, see what I can do, how quickly I can pull this off against a, uh, an opponent doing nothing. It's probably, it's probably uh, still like turn 11. <laughs> At the best, it's turn 11. And, t you know, here's the thing, the scary thing, too. We could totally still lose this game, despite the fact that our opponent's done nothing. Losing? Still an option. If my opponent shows up right now, right now. I'm just done. I'm just donezo. Donezo. But we're going to take this opportunity to goldfish with the deck. Goldfishing is a magic term. Uh, I don't know why it's used like this. But it's to describe playing a deck by yourself against no real opponent and seeing how quickly you can do your cool things. We're goldfishing. Could still lose, by the way. Could still lose. That's the, that's the beauty of playing this deck. All right. Elusive oh, third Wisp Mother. Beautiful. Swing. All right. <clears throat> we may have to ice storm our own board away before we can combo off. If my opponent is like truly disconnected, they would no longer be here. They have stepped away from the computer now. <clears throat> you know, they're just not interested in being part of my my video production experience, which is also possible. So now the real question is, do we swing? I'm going to say no. It keeps resetting to the same point, right? Like, they're there. Just enjoying themselves. That's okay, man. 
Maybe my opponent ice storms. I kind of want to get it out of my hand, but opponent's at 26. So let's see how the fastest we can go off is. I'm going to play the Daggerfall Mage before I Ice Storm, I think. Mm. Yeah. I have, I have room in hand for this. So next turn, then I can... A draw up to nine cards. Ice Storm to stay at nine cards, and then I'll equip this. I need a lot of spots in the board for going off. I guess I could draw more schemers. I don't know. Let's see if we can make this happen. The red year. Okay. Ice Storm. Oh, for some reason, I, I thought I had Magicka to do this. I do not. I do not have Magicka to do this. Staying at nine cards in hand. Opponent's timer countdown thing now reset to the beginning. So what could we have done for interaction? Not much. Now my opponent's emoting. Nick Sox. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dark Rebirth? Are we playing against a Nixox combo deck? Maybe my opponent just didn't have anything to do the first few turns. I can, I can appreciate that. There's a Lana. Equip. Rapid shot. Great draw. No need to apologize, my friend. I understand. You have a busy schedule. Nine cards in hand. Actually can't play Lanneth. Tree Minder, okay. Daggerfall Mage, okay. Ungolem, you got it, man. I made sure we had a game. So I Lanneth for Relentless Raider. Except I can't play Lanneth. So I'll stay at 10 cards in hand. So I'm going to play Wisp Mother just because I have so many of them. And play Palace Conspirator. Uh, there's a Relentless Raider. I need that. If this survives, I can go off next turn. Maybe. I'm going to discard the red year. And I'm going to discard Lucy Schemer. Eight cards in hand. I assume my Wisp Mother gets answered. We might not actually be able to go off because of board space. Uh, okay. Yeah, you got it, brother. Sure. I mean, this makes it easier to get my creatures off the board. I can clear most of this with a uh, Cradle Crush Giant. The the jig is up, though. I mean, they know what kind of deck we're playing now. Okay. You got it, man. Swing, my friend. All right. All righty. Lanneth for another Relentless Raider. Sure. Yeah, Lightning Bolt, my dudes. I actually really, really, really need him to trade and not go face. Tome, sweet. All right. So Lana throw relentless raider. Telvas Magister is good, but it's not good enough. Now I need to draw a Relentless Raider or Close Call. 
two cards I need, one of which I need to draw out of 30. That's one in 15. Those are pretty good odds. Yeah. Eight cards in hand. My opponent can overdraw me if they choose. We must count on our wits. Sun and Shadow. Okay. We only need one Nord Firebrand, too. <laughs> Oh my god. What if I overdraw the Relentless Raider and the and the um close call? <laughs> no camels in the deck, by the way. Alright, opponent got in action. It's Mummify. Okay. Alright. We got the close call. Alright, they're dead. Unless they prophecy a lightning bolt or a mummify. They have one mummify left, two lightning bolts. Alright, let's do this. Yo ho ho. Yo ho ho. Yo ho ho. Instant lightning bolt. All right, all right. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> it was a powerful blow. I'm, I'm glad you're impressed. Play freaking Harvey, my man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the Relentless Raider combo. We goldfished and we hit it on turn... Dude, I don't even know. <laughs> I stopped counting. 